Welcome to Solving Equations with Fractional Exponents. So let's look at these two examples. We're used to solving them by, let's see, we have x squared equals 49, so usually we would take the square root of both sides, and we would get that x is equal to plus or minus 7. And on the left, if we have x cubed equals negative 27, we're used to taking the cubed root of both of them in which you would get x equals negative 3. Remember, if you're taking an even root, you include the plus or minus. If you're taking an odd root, you leave whatever sign they have. But there's a new way to actually solve these. So let's look at x squared equals 49. Now, we took the square root of both sides, but we learned recently that the square root is equivalent to an exponent of one half, right? Power over your root. So instead of taking the square root, you can raise both sides to the one half power, which is the same thing since an exponent of one half and the square root are equivalent. On the left, if you were to multiply these two together, two times one half is just x to the first. They undo each other. And then, 49 to the 1 half power, if you put it in your calculator, will tell you 7. The only thing is you have to remember that you're taking the square root, essentially. So you need a plus or minus 7. Now let's do the same thing on the left. We have x cubed equals negative 27. We're going to raise both sides to the reciprocal power because you're taking the cubed root which is really going to be an exponent of one-third. And if you put this in your calculator, it'll tell you that negative 27 to the one-third power, make sure you're using parentheses around the negative 27, is going to give you negative 3. So let's sum it up with steps. What you're always going to want to do to solve for x is isolate the variable term. In this case, you have the variable by itself already. To get rid of the exponent, you're going to raise both sides to the reciprocal power, which in this case is 3 fourths. Now, if you do that and put it in your calculator, your calculator is going to tell you 27. But keep in mind, this 4 in the denominator, 3 is your power, 4 is your root. If you're taking an even root, you need a plus or minus in your answer. So what we're going to do is we're always going to look at the denominator. And if the denominator is even, you're taking an even root, so you need a plus or minus in your answer. If your denominator is odd, then you leave whatever sign you started with. And now we have our answer. x equals plus or minus 27. Let's try two more examples. You're going to want to get x by itself first. Do not divide by 3. You're going to want to bring over the 1 first. It's a lot easier. Now, you can divide by 3 because we don't have two terms on the left-hand side. When you raise this to the reciprocal power, be careful. It's not just 4 over 1. It's really negative 4 over 1 because the reciprocal of a negative is really still a negative. You don't need the 4 over 1. You can just raise it to the negative 4th power. That would work too. Anyway, when you raise it to negative 4, you get 16. Actually, you don't get 16. If you were to put that in your calculator, you would get 1 over 16, because remember, the negative makes it into a fraction. You do not need a plus or minus, because your denominator is 1, which is an odd number. For the next one, you're going to start off by dividing by 2.
Now, x is not by itself, but this is your base, and the entire base is by itself. So you can go straight to raising both sides to the reciprocal power. Your exponents are going to undo each other, and you're going to get x plus 5 equals 3 to the third, which is 27. And now you have an extra step. You have to get x by itself. So now you're going to subtract the 5. No plus or minus because your denominator was an odd number. Keep in mind that you can't, over here, you can't subtract the 5 because the 5 is attached to the exponent, which is why you have to get rid of the exponent first before we can subtract it. And that's all it is to this video.